Hey, I'm Ashley from Recording King. Welcome to NAMM 2012. We've got a bunch of instruments to uh, check out today. Uh, the, the key word for our line this year seems to be Adirondack. We have a bunch of new Adirondack top guitars. So let me show you a couple here. The first one that I want to show you is our RP1327. It's a single O body. Uh, it's designed with uh, noted luthier and guitarist Eric Schoenberg. Uh, it's got an Adirondack spruce top. I'm sorry, it's Adirondack spruce top. Uh, solid rosewood back and sides, one piece neck, uh, it's obviously 12 fret guitar, the Adirondack gives it great projection, the dreadnought scale length gives it uh, excellent string excursion so that you can really get a nice amount of punch and volume out of a small body guitar. So here's a couple chords. The next one I want to show you is our Greenwich Village. Uh, this guitar was modeled after uh, some of the most famous guitars uh, of, of 60s folk singers as well as movie troubadours who uh, used to sing and uh, carry their instruments around as they were actually producing the films. Uh, this guitar has a four and a half inch deep body. Uh, also it's a 13 fret guitar. The neck joins the body at the 13th fret. Um, man, I don't really know what else to say about it. Let me play a little bit for you. Hi, I'm Travis from Recording King Guitars, and we're here at the 2012 Winter NAMM Show. Just wanted to show you a few of our new models. One that we're really excited about is called RD310. Now this is an Adirondack top guitar for a $4.99 street cost. So it's an all solid instrument, Adirondack, as many of you know, is one of the best sounding top woods available. It's really uh, been included on a bunch of the timeless guitars. Uh, this particular one is a great sounding, great sounding guitar. It has all solid mahogany back and sides. Uh, it's a polyurethane finish. We do a bunch of nitrocellulose finishes on our other models, but in order to keep this one at 500 bucks, we went with the poly finish on this. Uh, still looks excellent. And it has Grover Rotomatic tuners, bone nut and saddle. Other than that, very traditional dreadnought style guitar, traditional 25.4 inch scale length, 1 11 16 nut width. Uh, it's a little more modern, flat C type of neck profile. And the guitar is really a cannon. Whether it can be heard in the confines of a trade show, who knows, but. But it's a really resonant, great sounding guitar for 499 bucks on the street. A few other models that we're also excited about. Um, we updated our slope shoulder line. Our previous models had the shorter scale, 24 and 3 quarter inch. Now we extended that to the dreadnought scale, 25.4 inch as well. So it still has the kind of blend that the slope shoulders are known for in chordal strumming, but the longer scale really gives some single note clarity. Uh, we're doing this in both natural and sunburst, solid Sitka tops, and then we have two options, one with a solid mahogany back and sides, and one with a laminate back and sides. The two street costs of those are $4.99 and $6.99. Uh, these are great sounding guitars as well. Very simple in their aesthetic, uh, but also sound excellent. I'll play the same chords as the previous guitar. So this one's a little bit brighter. The laminate wood, of course, is a little more reflective surface in a way. Uh, doesn't color the tone quite as much, but really great sounding guitar. And then one other thing that we're really excited about is the Greenwich Village. And this is a guitar modeled after kind of an homage to one of the great lost guitars of our time. Um, it is the kind of traditional troubadour body style from about the 1920s and early 30s. Uh, these are character characterized by a really deep body. So despite their small body shape, they're still very bassy. Uh, we also extended the scale length of this to 25.4 inches and we moved the neck joint to be a 13th fret neck joint. So it moves the bridge closer down to the center of the lower bout to really allow this type of small body to have excellent bass response. So this guitar, solid sick top, laminate rosewood back and sides, mahogany neck, vintage Grover style tuners, and an updated Recording King style headstock. Uh, great for finger picking or for strumming. 
Uh, I think finger pick might be a little quiet in here, but I'll just hit those same chords again. And hopefully you can hear that this is a little more bassy than some other similar types of small bodies. So we're really excited about this one. All of these guitars and all of our other models can be found at recordingking.com. And uh, we hope everybody keeps making music and enjoying it. Thanks.